Hi, this is Emily Baldwin from Astronomy Now magazine in the UK. Um, it's always really amazing seeing views of the Earth from space, and I'd certainly be interested to hear your comments on any Earth observation you've done this mission. But what I'd really like to know is, do you do any nighttime astronomical observations? Uh, and if so, what? Well, hello to the UK, and uh, let me uh, get the first part of that. The Earth views are just stunning. Uh, it's very, very difficult to explain them to people. Even pictures don't do it justice. And uh, your senses can be really overwhelmed by how beautiful the Earth is. I want to mention to uh, the UK that we actually have a medallion up here struck in honor of uh, James Cook. This was uh, commissioned about five years after his death. And uh, we're very, very happy to have that and to honor the rich uh, maritime legacy of uh, world discovery that the UK has. As far as uh, astronomical observations, one of the problems is that uh, we're moving around the Earth at 17,500 miles an hour. It'd be uh, kind of difficult to train onto something unless we were really uh, more mechanically equipped to do that. We keep our space station at, uh, oriented so that we're looking uh, belly to the ground most of the time, and that's comfortable uh, to us for a lot of reasons, and uh, we get really good ground views that way. Now, having said that, uh, we have some very good cameras on board, and we're able to take some uh, astrophotographs uh, that don't require much, uh, much in the way of exposures. But most of these are Milky Way shots and uh, Aurora shots, and they're quite spectacular, but uh, nothing compared to what the Hubble can do. Thank you. Um, and my second question, um, Apollo inspired the children of the 60s and the 70s, um, the shuttle, the, the 80s and 90s and the early 21st century. With the shuttle program retiring, how do you think uh, we'll be able to inspire uh, future astronauts? Well, you know, I think the space program in general is, is inspiring. And I think, you know, our country and certain countries around the world have a strong history of uh, exploration and uh, now exploration in space. And I think even when the shuttle retires, we're going to continue that. We're still going to have a, uh, a space station. It's still going to be uh, uh, supported by astronauts and cosmonauts from around the world. And I think, uh, you know, we're going to have a program beyond this. We're not sure exactly what it is right now, but you know, someday humans are going to venture again beyond low or Earth orbit back to the moon and uh, Mars and other destinations in our solar system. And it's, uh, you know, something I think can inspire kids and it's something that we all can be uh, proud of.